Oh, look at this guy over here. <laughs> this gay worm. Geek, 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 geek. <laughs> Check with. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use the M word. Look at this gay worm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm allowed to say that. I have a gay crayon. <laughs> <laughs> For that to- you have to keep the part about the black crayon in there for that joke to make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh wait, I was just guessing randomly. Oh, Jesus. You're supposed to guess the Goomba guy's sister. Uh, I don't know his sister's name. No. Oh, he went away! He's gone. But he was so fabulous. Fucked up. <laughs> See, if you li if you thought it was homophobic that I called him fabulous, then you're homophobic because I never linked it to the fact he was gay. So. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> you're the one who linked that with him being gay, you piece of shit. <laughs> Alright, now what? Uh, so now, I think now that you have him, uh, you're gonna okay. go back to Oh, because the, there was a switch on yeah, the other- Okay, cool. Yeah, across now. Alright, cool. What's your- what's your favorite game of all time? Like, favorite, like- like, are we talking, like, not including, like, party games? <laughs> I mean, anything. Any- it, the game that you, like, are most nostalgic for, game that you think is, like, objectively the best. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I feel like I'm gonna get judged, man. I don't, I really like Zelda Minish Cap. Oh uh, really? Yeah. Is wow. that is that bad? Is no. that bad? What? It's I, a, it's I like a, Zelda little, Minish Cap. It's a little obscure. I, I mean, like that. Yeah, I like Zelda Minish Cap. I really like um Wind Waker. I, I like a I like most Zelda games, but I really liked Wind Waker. Thought that one was really creative. Um, yeah. I'm I, I really like the Zelda franchise. Have you, have you not played Breath of the Wild yet? I have not yet. I have not played Breath of the Wild. Oh my gosh. You gotta get a Switch, you gotta get Breath of the Wild. Bro, I gotta get $300. Oh. <laughs> all the, uh, all the, Oh, I'm uh, about to die, guys. Just letting you know. So this is about to be, we're gonna cut the part oh, where I die. <laughs> I am in Peril. Wait, wait, what items do you have? Oh, it's too fucking right now. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, well you have close call on, so you might miss. Or he might yeah, miss. he he already missed once, so. <laughs> oh, oh you dead. All dead. No. What's your favorite game? My favorite game. <clears throat> um. See, it's, it's down between a couple things for me. I it's either paper, it's either Thousand Year Door, phenomenal, or Banjo Kazooie. Okay, I honestly. love Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> honestly, I mean, we can always go back. I'm a I'm a melee guy. That's my favorite Smash game. That's probably one of my top five is um, Super Smash Melee. Mm -hmm. I get a lot of shit for that. Most people are like Smash Four is the best. Well, you know what? Cool. But <laughs> it's, it's between four or melee. Yeah, because it just like, depends on who you are. Yeah, I mean, Brawl was all right. Both are very valid arguments, but nobody, nobody fucking after four came out, nobody says Brawl was the best one. Honestly, you know? yeah, like everyone, like one of my friends was like, "Oh, Brawl's the future, man. Brawl's the next best. <laughs> it's the next new thing." It's not. <laughs> it's it, Yeah, I was like, Brawl is really not that good. <laughs> <laughs> Brawl's very mediocre. But like, uh, the, like even four. E I mean, not, not four. Even like uh, in the N sixty four one. Uh, still has novelty when you like yeah. to play that. Yeah. Because it's such like a small little game. Yeah. <laughs> just like it feels, it feels really like homey. It really so, does. Like, yeah. It feels comfortable. But mm -hmm. there, there's literally no fucking reason to go back to Brawl after four hours. Yeah, honestly. It's objectively better. I mean, my thing though with like melee, like I, I don't like that there's so many characters in four. I, I like. I it's like, a little overwhelming. Yeah, and like you got to think like there's, it's really hard. That's why I feel like it's not as balanced. You know? Right. So I feel like, um, I feel like 4 isn't as balanced as Melee just because of the amount of characters, you know? Because, right. like, I mean, there's, like, there's some characters that are, like, like, Falco's a really good character on Melee. Um, who's another good Melee character? There's, like, Fox. OP. Fox is really good on Melee. the same. Yeah, uh, yeah, but, you <laughs> know, Falcon. different shine. But, yeah, Captain Falcon. Well, and, you know, he, did you know he's the exact same character as, um, Ganondorf? Yeah. They were just reskinned. Well, Cap. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, Cap Captain Falcon had that move set in 64 first, but then Ganondorf. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying, like, they, um. It's just a different skin. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> but, um, Did you know that Super Mario Bros. 2 in America wasn't actually Super Mario Bros. 2? <laughs> yeah! It was actually called Doki Doki Panic! <laughs> Did you know? <laughs> well, I'm a Falco guy, personally. I, I like the balance, cause like even like even like Falco and Captain Falcon and all those like all the like supposedly amazing characters or whatever, they're not that much better. Than the right. Ones. I honestly I feel like um, 
like in some, when Smash Four was first coming out, right, and listening to like all the reviews that were coming out, and yeah, the and like Japan time again, like what I was saying earlier, yeah, like everyone who played who like had the game right when it came out was pretty much saying like it was it, it was balanced to the point where everyone feels overpowered. Yeah, that's a, that's the line yeah. that I kept on hearing people saying. That's fair. That like, makes J- sense. Jay Witz was saying that, like Shofu and like all the guys from the Japan Time podcast. They were all saying like everyone feels overpowered, so nobody does. Yeah, yeah. That that's honestly that that makes a lot of sense. But that's now really now that we're in the post Bayonetta age, yeah, like yeah. everyone fucking complains about how broken Bayonetta and Cloud are. <laughs> I mean, they really are, though. <laughs> and I, I feel like that's just a, sim- a symptom from like the uh, the DLC scene. Yeah. Because I, I feel because the DLC characters weren't made with the other characters in the game in mind, it it's kind of hard to balance them with everyone else. That, that makes sense. I can I can. Because Bayonetta, oh, they, but everyone was pissed when Bayonetta came out. Yeah, I know. Oh my god, she was, she was getting banned at scenes, and then she got nerfed. Yeah, and she she's still super like super popular of a character at competitive scenes. Cloud too, but yeah, uh, I I'm, that's see this is the thing that I said during the Zelda playthrough uh, with Cody, the 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 whole port versus new game argument. I I feel like I I'm starting to be more my my knee jerk reaction right when it got announced was that it was gonna be a port yeah because I was just like well everything else on the Wii U is on the Switch so far it's a fucking port yeah and like it, it and honestly I don't I'm not at the point where I need a Smash fo- or Smash Five yeah you know well I don't. I'm not to the point where I'm like, oh yeah, I just need a new Smash game right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, honestly. Four, it has so much fucking shit in it. Yeah. Between both of the versions of it. I mean, I'm still stuck on Melee, bro. <laughs> right? Like, if you just like, like, well, this, is what, this is exactly what I proposed in that. And this is what everyone else is proposing, was proposing too, like online. Uh, like, if you just take the fucking modes from three, the 3DS version and the Wii U version. Yeah, Slam yeah. them together, add a couple more DLC characters... Or add a couple more new characters like Splatoon. Yeah. Like, like they, they've already announced. Okay, what do I do here? Uh, I think you gotta kill that guy. Damn it. I think he's holding the key. The um, worst. But if you just slam all that stuff together and like add some new stages and stuff like that, and some new trophies or some shit. Yeah. Then, honestly, Smash 4 Deluxe Edition would be enough for me. Hon- honestly, buy, I feel that. I'd buy that. that again if it had all the DLC before with like some more characters and some more content. And it was essentially the same. Oh shit, this guy's mad. Oh shit. Um, but it being a new game, like yeah. what worries me about that? It's cool that we're getting a new game. Yeah, yeah. Because it, it's overall going to be a fre- more fresh experience. Yeah. I mean, just by default. Yeah. But the thing that worries me about that is now we have to worry all over again about all the characters from Smash Four being in the new game. Yeah. I mean, that's Smash so true. Smash hasn't let us down yet. Yeah. To where the some characters have gone and went, but like the roster has constantly been expanded. Yeah. But look at fucking Smash 4's roster. Mm-hmm. Like it's fucking ginormous. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing. Like I I don't I don't like. I don't like how many characters. So. Like, Smash 5's so, roster is gonna be looking like someone's fucking desktop after they've been using their computer for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> honestly. Icons everywhere. Yeah, yeah, honestly. <laughs> oh, got him. Got you, motherfucker. Ooh, but shit. But, like, that, that's what worries, worries me about it. Honestly. Yeah. L- l- leave a comment down below if you know <laughs> what I'm talking about. Leave a comment down below if you have, have something to say about Smash 5. L- please leave comments. <laughs> Uh, and, and another thing, like, Smash 4, it had, like, two full, like, E3s to, like, get announced and, like, fully... No, it wasn't even two. It was really three. Because yeah. it got... Uh, I think it got announced, like, the year they stopped uh, doing, uh, like, press conferences. And they just started doing the little digital uh, broadcast thing. How did he get back here? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Um, but I think the year they started, they stopped doing the broadcast. Smash 4 had like three, pretty much like three, mainly two years, like hype yeah. its entire league schedule up with like constant tra- character trailers and yeah. like stuff like that. To where like people were, con- and like Sakurai's pick of the day and like the Smash ballot, and like there were like 
three separate Smash Directs. Like, yeah. Like, 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 presentations just about fucking stuff that's gonna be in the fucking game. That's true. And, like, it, there, it was two years of hype, and it was it was the funnest time to be a Nintendo fan. <laughs> yeah. There was this constant bombardment of information that was so interesting to talk about. Okay, was it? Everyone hates on Nintendo fans. Right? So, right? I'm like, I enjoy Nintendo very much. <laughs> like, that's all I play. There's, I think they're more creative than any other franchise. Me too. Me too. I wish they would play nice with YouTubers. Right? All, all my fucking Breath of the Wild videos got copyrighted. Did they really? <laughs> I mean, except for like two. So like, I don't what know is, why. Did, did they get taken down then? Uh, no. I, it's just like, if my channel was up for monetization, they, oh, wouldn't, okay. they wouldn't make any ad revenue money. I got you. Um... I think two of them are fine. They do I have to fight these guys, too? Like, why? I think... Where am I going? Wait, wait, what wait, am wait, I doing? So, so go back.